So in 1997, there was a movie called Contact, where a space alien uh, civilization sent us designs for a machine. Guess what? God talks, and the design is Temple OS. Um, just like the Bible is the inspired word of God, Temple OS is the inspired word of God. So uh, you need to write your congressman and tell them to uh, command Microsoft and VMware and Linux to um, do some demands for, do some changes um, for God. So the, the main thing we need is, uh, or one thing we need is the Red Sea file system. Uh, currently we support three file systems, FAT32, ISO 9660 for CD-ROM, and Red Sea. I created Red Sea. It's, a, uh, it's designed to be simple. Um, so it has fixed length 64-byte directory entries um, and just, uh, just a fixed maximum file name length. And uh, it has an allocation table instead of a fat table. Um, in Temple OS, we do whole whole file access. So we read or write whole files. So here's some source code with some graphics. And uh, if I say dump vroom.cpp, it has uh, binary graphics at the bottom of the file and it has text at the top. So if you tried to grow this file by just adding text to it, the text would come after the graphics and that's not allowed. So you have to write, read and write the whole file. And also we, we do file compression. These files are compressed if they have a .z ending. And so uh, those need to be whole file access too. You can't do a partial access with compression. So we need, uh, so the Red Sea file system is optimized for whole file access. It only has an allocation bitmap instead of a fat table. This is simple for kids. Um, that's, our philosophy is uh, not using paging. Paging is just like fat tables. And we, we use physical addresses, not virtual addresses. So, uh, and we use uh, an allocation bitmap, map, not a fat table. So that's 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 the way we roll. Anyway, so there's one other thing that um, that that one other benefit um, we use uh, block addresses for the uh, Red Sea instead of clusters. Um, they put they cluster together like 32 blocks, and uh, I want to eliminate the concept of a cluster. Right now we have read blocks, read cluster, write blocks, write clusters. Anyway, I want to eliminate the concept of a cluster. Um, and uh, a cluster start starts numbering at uh, the, the beginning of the data area of the partition. We want uh, block numbers for the kids. Microsoft needs to cancel Secure Boot. We need to boot alongside Linux or Windows. And Secure Boot was designed not to allow others to boot. So they need to cancel that. VMware has a handful of bugs. Um, they need to support direct access to CD-ROM, um, Adapi direct access. They have a bug stretching the screen. They have, uh, once in a while, you get a multi-core startup glitch. Um, they might have fixed that. Anyway, um, the speaker has too much distortion. If you listen to songs, too much distortion. It's good for video games, but it's not good for songs. On video games, uh, you like some distortion, but it's it's not good for songs. So uh, why don't you make the distortion distortion adjustable, and why don't you make uh, reverb an option? Um, technically, that's cheating. We we normally the intention is to support just PC speaker. Anyway, so. Uh, they need to list Temple OS as an official 64-bit operating system. Now, I'm, I'm going to uh, command the industry to redo the hardware uh, to clean it up over the centuries. Uh, God's temple must be perfect. In the meantime, you could start by putting the, C the hard drive at primary IDE and the CD at secondary IDE. Right now, I have to spend a lot of effort trying to figure out what ports the uh, 
the hard drive and CD-ROM are located. I, I tried to do it the correct way with the PCI BIOS. It's a real mess. Just we want to. I set a limit of 100,000 lines of code, and um, by getting rid of these other file systems and this other stuff, we can save a lot of lines of code. So uh, the BIOS needs to support PS2 emulation. Um, there's a Intel makes PS2 emulation possible with USB devices, but the BIOS sometimes doesn't doesn't follow through. We want fast in-out port instructions. Um, they intentionally put a delay to be compatible with the original devices. Um, we want a new uh, interrupt, new type of interrupt. Right now, there's task and gates and or uh, traps and gates and uh, there's a couple different types of interrupts in the interrupt table. Um, we want just a regular call 32, call relative 32. Well, there's a call instruction that's the fastest. And if we could go ahead and um, cause software interrupts to not change rings and not save stack, and if you could make them just as fast as a call at 32, that'd be great. I guess it can't be quite as fast. But uh, um, so. What happened is the original in-out instructions were a beautiful feature of the architecture, but now they do PCI memory map uh, register access, I, device access, and also they, they use a syscall instead of the instead of the original software interrupts. So we're going to bring back the original, put those. We're going to redo the CPU to make those useful again. So I don't use paging. Uh, I want Intel to make. Uh, a long mode that doesn't use paging. It uh, it's faster if you don't use paging. Ideally, uh, you can make it slower, but it should be faster. Anyway, so uh, uh, we want a, a reset button on all desktops. So you press a reset button, and that boots Temple OS. The normal power on will boot the UEFI. Um, right now, there's a 8-bit font that's part of the VGA. Um, I guess we don't use text mode anyway, but we need to, the industry needs a new 8-bit font. I'm not doing you variable font with variable character uh, UTF. We're not, we're not doing that. We're doing 8-bit. The oriental countries are just screwed. Uh, anyway, so uh, I guess there's a, a Russian 8-bit uh, where they put the Russian characters in the upper range. Um, we need to design one that does Hebrew and Greek and Russian. Actually, I have a second font you can toggle with Control-Alt-F, just like the uh, Commodore had two fonts. So GIMP and Paint need to support GRA files. BMP files are clusterfucked, and also it's, uh, it's not good using... Uh, you can use LZW compression if you have 16 colors because um, there's a high likelihood that one pixel next to another pixel is going to be the same colors. But if you have an image that's 24-bit, uh, then you don't have a likelihood of identical colors. And so they start doing lossy. We want LZW because we also use it for the uh, file system and we want to save lines of code. So uh, right now I have a, a Webster dictionary I got from uh, Project Gutenberg. Um, if Linux or if some billionaire can donate a dictionary, that'd be great. Um, also, we want a good spell check. Um, so Unix has a Linux has a uh, a good spell check file. I can't use it because it's it's GPL, and my operating system is public domain. So if they could donate that to the public domain, that'd be great. And maybe an intern can write a spell check or something. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, I can do the spell check. So uh, I have plans for the industry. We're going to get rid of USB, and we're going to replace it with a super simple high-speed serial that's like RS-232 except uh, um, high-speed. Uh, we want to um, 
right now USB has human interface device reports and stuff what we're going to do is we're going to make a standard PC for the industry sell it in quantity 400 million it's going to be a standard desktop instead of flexible it's going to be all locked down into a single standard um, so there's going to be two button mice with a wheel and that's it when we were kids we could write a joystick driver for the Commodore 64 um, once we convert this to generic RS-232 or it's not RS-232 but generic serial we're going to get rid of the endpoints from USB we're going to get rid of the reports it's just going to be simple enough for it's going to be a lot better you know how Trump says you're going to win so much <laughs> anyway uh, we're going to make this so beautiful anyway so uh, we want a, a block, super simple block device we might as well do that it's going to have read block, write block, get capacity, get model, serial number, eject and that's it um, we're not going to have read multiple blocks we're just going to have read single block now there's going to be a mode that's done with in out instructions it's a simple mode then they can do their own other mode and piece with PCI memory mapped registers they can do that but we're going to have a simple mode all all Temple OS IO is done with uh, in out instructions so uh, maybe we want to renumber the uh, in out instructions we can change the uh, the 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 uh, CPU so that it has a uh, a mode with uh, with renumbered in out instructions renumbered ports to clean them up and also what else do we want uh, I'm forgetting something anyway uh, we're going to standardize to 4k one single monitor um, except for Temple OS we use 640 by 480 I know that's a little bit uh, having two modes is not the same as having one mode but anyway uh, we're going to win so much you're going to get tired of winning uh, so we're going to get God to uh, authorize servos, bogs. I think he's talking about uh, um, drones or something. Mo Flintstone. <laughs> Cutting the grass. Uh, reverse catering subject curricula hob. Anyway, so uh, write to your congressman and tell them to command the industry I guess Apple's having to do some government work um, I'm going to have authority to uh, boss Intel and Microsoft so anyway